So in this video I'm going to look at two download tools for the Spectrum Next. The first is ZXDBDL. Uh, this is by Imook. Um, so just having a quick look at the README file um, on the hard drive. This actually comes with the Next. Uh, so the tool um, uses code by Remy Sharp and also D Riman Suter. Uh, so you first of all go to the ZXDB folder and run the .pass file. Okay, so I'm in the ZXDBLDL folder and then run the .pass file. And then we get the credit screen, Imook, D Riman Suter, Remy Sharp, and then it's just starting itself up. And now I can type in whatever I want to search for. Uh, so supposing I want to search for Manic Miner. Uh, really you're supposed to replace any spaces with stars, but it's found stuff anyway. Uh, so there's a page of results on Manic Miner. Um, so that Manic Miner dot tap is probably the one I want to use. So if I download that one and then enter to play and it will hopefully start up the software but I'm just getting a blank screen so let's just have a look um, at the folder you can see that the, the file is downloaded and I'll give it another try try something different because maybe that maybe that um, program doesn't work uh, so this time I'll try invaders and again we've got a page results and then a second page, um, I think one, I'll go for one of the ones on the first page. So just go back to the first page and I'll take that fourth one down in tap. I'll download it, then enter to play, quite a small file. And then I think it'll probably be 48k program. So it's a program by Aptic Computing from 1982. And it gives the control keys, cap shift Z, left and right, and space to fire. And then some more instructions, control keys again. Uh, the scores for the different types of invader. And then the setting, how easy or hard I want it. So I'll just go for the middle one. Variation one and one player. And then we're into the game. So it's downloaded it okay. And with quite a bit of ease I've been able to run the program and play Spursley Murders. So that's the first um, program and so just checking in the folder I can see that I've got the two tap files there and then the second program is also by MOOC and it's Get It version 1.3 I'll just show MOOC's itch.io um, URL uh, where you can see this, where you can get the tool from. So it's saying it's beta software, and to get the software, you type in these commands. Um, so first of all, you make create a directory, go into the directory, and then you run the .http um, command to download the install pass file, and then you run it. Uh, it says do not run the next file. Uh, I didn't see a next file, but maybe that's in one of the subfolders and then there's some screenshots of how to use it in a video uh, which will give you some assistance so first of all I create a directory I want to learn the where all the keys are on the next keyboard slightly different to my, key, my PC keyboard so I'll create the directory and go into the directory I'm just trying to have a look and see what's in there so I don't like .dir, I'll try just .dir so the folder is empty at the moment then run the HTTP command to download the software using get Making sure I type the command correctly. I'm searching for keys that I don't know where they are at the moment. OK, 
Okay, so I think that is the whole of the, the command to download the software. So I run that and then have another look in the directory and you see I've got the install.bass file there now. So try and run that using load. So load install.bass. It asked me what speed I want to download at, so I'll just go for two recommended speed. Uh, screen goes a bit crazy around the borders. Uh, it's downloaded it and it's now extracting it and copies dot files, so it three copies three files into a dot subfolder on the C drive and tells me to run get it.bass from the browser. So I go back, back out into the browser. I can see uh, get it dot bass is there in the folder so I can run that and get the splash screen and then we've got some credits for the different parts of the software um, the main software is written by MOOC and then we've got a, a, a menu down at the bottom so these are the one these are the games sh uh, showing up to start with so if I want to pick an item um, I can go for that top one. So just give me a screenshot about it and some information to, uh, to allow me to decide whether I want to download, download that or not. So supposing I want to search for a file, if I go into the search, I'll try Invaders again. And it's come up with four results. Uh, and I think I'll go for the second one down, Bricks Invaders. So it actually looks like a breakout type game with maybe invader type characters. And there's some information there allowing me to decide whether I want it. So I do want it. So yes. So it's downloaded it. Uh, not sure how to run it straight away like with the other tool but just go back out go to the browser and you can see it's there so if I just go into that and run that you can see it's in the get it uh, download folder and then run it and you've got some instructions left and right so this game actually uses a joystick um, so a fairly simple game, just hitting a ball around with a bat, um, not sure when the bricks appear, but uh, you see that the tools worked and it's downloaded the program and I'm able to start playing it. So if I want to clean it up I can erase the full the file. Uh, so that's the two tools, uh, ZXDBDL and Get It. Um, just a readme file for get it that's worth having a quick look through as well and um, yeah so we should be sure to have a play with these a bit more thanks for watching